Hello, hello, and welcome in. Welcome back, I should say, to the Bandits on Wheels. And this is the Fall Showdown, the first and only one right here, right now. But hey, maybe I'll get it back. Guess I'm not good, Comrade Back. Only one goal has scored quite yet, but already we're seeing a team say, what a bomb! I'm just like on point. Every time someone scores a goal, I gotta say something. But look at this arc here, whoops! Yeah, I mean, there's caster blessings and there's caster uh, curses. In this situation, I think you have the uh, caster blessing in calm flavor right there. But calm, showing off his mechanical ability, showing off his offensive skill set as well. Magic Bear open net opportunity, lights out. They're going to go up by one. 60 seconds remaining. <laughs> Magic Bear in the corner. Just stolen a lot of time left on the clock. He didn't really have any boost. He was trying to give that one over to Com. So a little bit of unorthodox, I would say, offense and defense. And this is what happens when that happens. So you have unorthodox, unorthodox defense. You don't know where it's going to be. You got to cut off in the past. That's what they did quite then. Showed a lot of the concentration so late in the game. What? But as I say that, Reynolds, the savior, three to two. Reynolds the savior, Reynolds pop off, Juki j Pow, Juki Heck, and getting the bump onto Adam, a 1v3. Or we're gonna see old heads kind of show up and show out. They're, they're not a team to be messed with. You have to kind of keep accelerating past the Magic Bear. Almost a caster curse right here, a caster blessing, whatever one you want to look at. Off of the kickoff, solo play, just pops this one up, one touch over Adam, and that's all it takes to get the first goal. Or a countermeasure, but if you work on that more in the run of play, you give yourself more opportunity to get the ball in possession because you can score yourself. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to set it up just tad. This should be an easy pop in for Jay pow He does do just that. So it does seem that Lights Out's one of the most slickest presentations. Oh, um, essentially opens up that play. So we're going to see if that's uh, it's going to continue on. That trend is going to continue on here. As we fire the first shot, Heck is going to score. That's old heads, and you have to breathe a sigh of relief if you're a fan of them. Do I have written this entire novel about how do uh, old heads get on the board? But just, you know, easing up onto a net always works, apparently. Just like that. Seven seconds of last. We have our first goal of the game. You know, I can see this first goal. Magic Bear going to try to get this one back, though. Good save. And it's a combination of Heck and Adam on the goal line. Still alive, though, is Reynolds. Adam, final 60 seconds, quickly approaching us. Jay Powell going to fire another one. That should be the dagger here in this game, especially the way that this offense has been performing. I think Lights Out needs to be less aggressive. I think they need to hang out. I need to do long short passes. I need lofty goal attempts like that. Yeah, overtakes are something that really doesn't get a lot of love in Rocket League because it serves two purposes. One, it gets to the ball faster, sure, but then it really puts your opponent out of sorts. And j Pow collects one here off the crossbar. And that is not good news. No matter who you are and what tournament you're playing, you gotta score at least once a game. And as I say that, right on the button, Reynolds says, all right, Casters, shut up. Here's one for you. <laughs> you know, Navata, I am a fan of chaos. I'm a fan of, uh, oh, my goodness, calm. We saw you in the first half of this one. It should be yours in hand, but if your old heads be able to wear down a quote-unquote stronger opponent over time, that's the stuff legends oh! are made of. Adam, don't do it to him. Wow. As soon as I saw Calm give this one away that he had no boost, I was like, this is trouble. Adam has this one, and then nobody challenged, and he just left it wide open. The double tap. Adam being the hero, forcing game five. Champions field, here we come. Old heads start to heat up, heck up in the air. This is a give and go. Reynolds with a huge save. Top of that, look at what happened here on the pitch. Two, this is an open net. This one should be an easy give, heck. But a total one nine formation here in the final oh. moments of game five, and that could be it. Yeah, that's it. I, I feel like that's it. The way that old heads have played, they definitely earned it. They locked down this offense of lights out. A totally different game from game one, game two. And it looks like they're going to do it. They're going to pull off the reverse sweep. Oh, man. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Old Heads, though. If you're an Old Heads fan, you love to see it as they take out Lights Out in the reverse sweep fashion. I was going to roll back towards midfield. Here comes Andy. Andy with a good 50-50. Almost a dunk play as well. Nobody there to put that back. Buffy clears it to the corner. Well, that was a good clear. The best chance we've seen so far. But the quarter's defeated. And now could have been a shot brought down. But I was hit off at the pass. And again. That has to be a little bit frustrating. Final 10 seconds. This one's going to 50-50 over the sidewall. And an open net for five up. And first class is going to score with only eight seconds left here in game one. A little bit too early to tell here, but I wonder which one's going to prevail in the end. Oh, here comes Tosi. Another solo play. No challenge coming out from the defense of first class. Winning this first game and tying up the series. 
You know I hate puns. I'm just putting it out there. I, to <laughs> I totally hate puns. But and because I say that, I got a feeling you're going to troll me and give me more puns for the sake Ooh, of it. Shout out, friend. Clear your way, my girl. And it's epic on the last side of it. But yes, uh, as what? we say here, no, not a rule one. I am sorry. Novanta is actually anti rule one. Come at me, chat. It's a tournament. $7,000 in cash and prizes are on the line. I do. You're playing Fen Fender Bender. My goodness, I'll tell you how the rule one doesn't, uh, impacts the game because there's a bunch of ways that it does. But you're absolutely right. Are you going to be the one to be risky? You have to go around 100 boosts and one other shot that was slapped by the crossbar that time. Still locked in that rule one towards midfield. This is a good air dribble. That one rattles the cage. Just gonna miss its mark. That one falls to the wayside. Five up at midfield. No boost to work with, but Buffy with the overtake. Gonna go ahead and shoot that one. Top shelf. Easy peasy. First goal goes to first class. Well, Tosi tries the might, which is a little bit slow. I think it was a boost issue, and Andy then tried to compensate. was a bit too late. Remember, there's only one mistake you can make in Rocket League. That's hesitation. That's what happened to Andy. And now it's 1-0 the other way. A huge, huge thing. What a triple! Oh my goodness, Gyro! Everyone's on the score sheet now in this series here. Look, we talk about 3v3s and 2v2s, but that was 1v1. Oh, this axles! It was flying everywhere! It's 2-1. to one. Yeah, Pirates on the boat. Doing an absolutely phenomenal job. A bump play coming through for Gyro. Gonna get a little bit of help on the defensive end as well. But watch this one back off of the side. Gets one touch. On top of that, gets the bump onto deck and then five up on the lower end. To lose five more minutes on the clock and there's already no score and the ball's being ping-ponged already. Whoops, you. I think we're seeing a little oh. bit of reprise of game number one. And just like that, Tosi opens the score. And you have to start taking a little bit more risks. Five up. Ooh. Does do that, Tosi. With the save, though. Nice slow play. He does take his time. Overpass over to the right-hand side. Oh, uh, it was a given go. Is this one ever going to hit the ground is the question. Last chance deck. Almost to the ceiling. Gyro does pop that one towards the corner. Five up. Going to 50 that one off the backboard. And it falls to the wayside. Pirates on the boat. It make an opening statement here and win this matchup in a 3-1 to one victory. It feels like the only way is up for them. They are expected to drop this series. But with a Game 5 performance from Burgers, you'd think they might be shaky at the start. Atomic convinces us otherwise, though. A beautiful solo effort here and a massive dunk. Hey, bro is not rattled at all by Burgers getting an early goal. Certainly doing a solid job turning everybody in, but they got to get the ball on target. Creams tries again. They might have been forced to respawn, but the possession kind of goes awry. Is that one that's actually going to be on net? Daniel here in the midfield continuing this to miss. Looking for a topic, the passing play coming out, and it's directly into the net, and Burgers popping off here in game number one. That is four touches in between team members. Everyone getting a Cirque du Soleil show free of charge, and it's exclamation point at the end for Burger's very tasty meal. Gonna be able to get it center at least. Daniel getting bumped off the backboard. This might be dangerous. Wavy with a drop down. It's somehow saved by Miss, but you can't just leave it in front of the box. Cream's gonna be able to get it into the net and bring us within one. Miss able to get that one away. Still up in the air. Extracurricular activity at zero seconds as Daniel tries to get this down the pitch. Looking for Atomic. Gonna have two touches. Has a flip? No! It's gonna be denied and we have overtime in game number one. But it feels like there's an avenue and sure enough there is for Haybro to get out and make Maybe find something else. Mist has to make a quick jump at that ball. And hey, bro, their defense has to be immaculate now as Atomic sends to the bar, almost forces another own goal here. Jump from Wavy, clear aside. Here's the counter. Here's your golden opportunity if you're hey, bro. You've got to get a shot on quickly, though. Wavy center pass, creams under the bar. It's only game one, but it's a big one for hey, bro. Oh, that's the beauty of game number one. They call it a feel-out game. That was full throttle the entire time. Nobody was waiting. Mist is going to get caught out on this and Wavy just able to take a simple corner shot and it just comes down to once again. Going around and again, another huge challenge from Wavy. Now Miss tries to throw some confusion into the mix. Wavy with a redirect forces Atomic into action. Now the follow through Miss gets a piece of it. Yeah, Hebro looks very solid in the defensive end. The rotations are darn near perfect as Cream's are going to take this one down the pitch. Doesn't have the double, but Wavy's there. Going to slot it back into the net. Great pass from Cream's. Again, when are we going to get this golden opportunity for them? Every single Single time that's two gone. Wavy has a shot through, and it's almost powerful enough. Daniel saves it aside. Is the pinch not going to be found? 2-0, though. You can get all the saves you want if you don't score here within the next second. And uh, <laughs> Wavy gets a hat trick, and that's going to be a flip reset dunk to do it too. 
Just do it to them, Wavy. Let them have it. They literally do not care who they're up against right now. And that's a, exactly the mentality you need from a team like Haybro in a series like this. Is Daniel doesn't mind actually playing defenses. That's a massive pinch. <laughs> Going to get out of the zone at the current moment. You can see a little strap for resources. Demos as well ringing in. And Burgers may be a bit more keen to stop Haybro before Ooh. they get to the midfield line and shut them back into the zone. Missed says hello, two goals. My brother in Christ, what is this angle? Missed, you're nuts. <laughs> it's how to control that ball defensively. Maybe the offense that you're up against isn't too far forward to pick it clean, but when they are, that spells disaster. So I know they're not concerned about dropping a game to the likes of Daniel Mist and Atomic, but no. at the same time, it feels like this is the Haybro that, or I'm sorry, the burgers that we should have seen this whole time as they actually broke the Barcelona and got us over to nine. W welcome, nine to two, nine to three. What's <laughs> creams? One, two, three. Creams takes it aside and miss was relevant enough. Quick shot there, Wavy into action. Everybody has to move defensively here. It's another save for Wavy back to back, tries to transition. This is a two on one, it's a two on oh. Atomic just has to turn it on the off angle, pops it high instead, and a big save from Wavy under pressure. Transition played, missed is racing and grabs it aside. Oh my, this is going to be in front though. It's just going to be in. Ugh. Fall in line the way they needed to. Well, somebody's going to bring it right on back. It's Wavy on that occasion. Wavy again delivering a save, but all it takes is one fast break from the burgers. And this might be it too, Daniel. Uh -huh. Back post shot and yep, all it takes is one opportunity, right? But sends it wide and away, which will make it a bit tougher for hockey to get anything realistic going here. Daniel downfield, could waterfall, take it himself, bouncer off the bar. Everybody's stunned and hot. Hockey has enough power to clear. Mist has to respond quickly now. And 60 seconds, fireworks are starting to fly. Four burgers. Nobody was actually there to receive. This is going to be dangerous over the top. Daniel on the backboard. Hockey going to fade. Creams. Shot. Denied. Again. Denied. Try the post. But it's going to be a hey, bro. Just able to collapse on the net. So close two times. The third time's a charm. Cream's doing so much work to keep that one relevant. Goes post to post, rattles off coast to coast, and Hockey taps it home. It's one for Haybro. Atomic one last shout here, but it's blocked by Wavy. It'll have to come from the back of the zone, as it often does, and Mist cannot connect. Atomic picks up, flick in hand. Cream's blocks aside. Mist backs up now. Not a whole lot of boost in the tank. Getting harassed by Wavy. Demo comes through into the ground. Hey, bro. They advanced to day three through winners. Missed, I think that was actually a pass from Atomic, but he went for the demo there, just causing a little bit of discombobulation. So that's a good touch right there. Missed with a shot, gonna hit it off the post. Struggling to really communicate. We're seeing a lot of double commits, just not as clean as Habro was. And that's basically the kind of action that you have to bring, but this might be a counterattack goal. A crazy pinch goes across the pitch. And Luxie actually gonna get the first goal in the series. What is that pinch? It's a first strike here, miraculous clear, and that's all it takes, again. Foul to be no, but it turns into a yes, just because the offense there actually shut down. Daniel does a good job. Oh, Daniel. Oh my, that's saved, and nobody's there to dive on it? Burgers, you gotta take advantage of the opportunities. The ball's in front of the net, you gotta crash. You cannot let that one go awry. This is such an interesting situation. Mist finally punches it home. Oh, hi, Mist is there. Pass down to Atomic. Clinicality at its finest. Six seconds to go. The Burgers look to steal game two. The unselfishness here as well. Mist can easily control that ball. There's a ton of space given up. Nobody's in the air. Instead, opts for the pass across the box. Atomic with a picture perfect shot. From Luxy right now to get themselves back in. Although Atomic, again, I mentioned the clinicality in the previous game. It stays true right now. It's a beautiful pass. The feign of the second touch falls right into the hands of Atomic. Burgers with that kind of midfield drop, able to go ahead and get some pressure. Good shot on target. Going to be saved up by Daniel diving across the net. Uh, it's, it's really worth thinking about. Demolition of the near post. Nibra tries to get in front of it and does follow through for Tekos. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this game right is that's a crazy musty flick pass does daniel have the double he does there it is let him cook he's serving up a fantastic burger right there talk about the pass from mist and daniel makes no mistake about it two minutes to play 
Burgers, that's a confident lead to take. Get one off the kickoff load of cap, but no boost. Can't get it moving. Still gets the flick on. Bar down. Nobody to clean. Atomic tries to clear. And Daniel takes it aside and out through the center. Bunks looking for anything. Can't find it as Lucy stays alive for now. This might be a counterattack. The net's wide open. And oh my, it happens again. Burgers just getting a little bit out of position. The transition plays are starting to come into effect here from Lucy. Big save from Miss. It's still up high in the top of the box. 25 seconds to go. Offense definitely here right now for Burgers. They're winning the resource battle, but they have to get this one away. Atomic with a bridge up from Mist. Are you kidding me again? Look at this. Look at the pre jump. Atomic's already up. You don't even see him on the screen until now, but what is this? There may still be time on the clock. Mist to collect this kickoff with 15 to play. Burgers might have done it in a sweep here if they can calm things down to the crossbar. Shot missed. Plenty of players out of position. Niebuhr wants to move this fast. Lodacat's looking for a demo. It has to be a flick and it is to the bar, but no reception. It comes back off the bar as fast as it got there and the Burgers grab a sweep, a shaky one at that. But at the end of the day, they're moving forward to day three. The upper bracket, you get yourself an extra life here, and that is massive to qualify through uppers. We're going to have old heads versus Noli's minions, and then Haybro versus Boulevard. And then the four, basically, the four invited teams, right? Sup, Sephardic, Burgers, and Pirates on a boat. Here you are, you're all playing in lowers, and you have to fight for your lives. You do not have a secondary life.